Hey guys, Craig from Crank and Surf again. What we're going to do, we're actually going to colour this board today. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to paint around the rails and then we're going to do a squeegee design on the deck. Now, uh, this is just acrylic paint, it's water based and it's about $2.50 Australian from a craft shop. And what we're going to do is going to dilute it some water and I'm actually just going to free paint it. I'm not going to tape up. I'm just going to free paint the rails so it gives it a much rougher look because I want it to sort of fit with the squeegee. Uh, you can use a tool, I sort of made my own tool to put dots down along the board uh, which allows you to tape the board up. I'll show you that technique in another video. Um, today we're just going to basically just do it by hand and we'll, yeah, we'll do the squeegee and see how it goes. At the moment, we're just going to dilute this. So I've used this one a few times. So we're doing just a heap of paint, and we're going to whack some water in there, and we're going to dilute it. And so basically that's just a, it's got to be mixed up now and we'll paint on the rails. So yeah, we've basically mixed up our paint and we've just got a brush. And all we're going to do is just brush on the rails. As I said, I don't want this to be too perfect. I want it to actually look a bit rough. All we're going to do now, we're just going to flip the board over. So we're just going to do underneath the rails, just so we get a little bit of coverage underneath the rail. Just gives it a bit more of a sort of a, a wrap look, where the paint's sort of wrapped over. Uh, we'll flip her over, we'll do that, and then we'll get on to the squeegee. Okay, so the next part of doing a squeegee design is to move on to actually doing the squeegee, obvious. So what we're going to do is actually going to find a range of colours. So we've got two different blues, a darker blue, and then we've actually got like a sort of a, a greeny blue, we've got a dark blue, a white, and we're going to put a little bit of black in there as well, just to, just to give it some difference. What we're going to do, we're going to use the lighter colours at the top, and as we move down, we're going to move into the darker colour. So your blacks and your darker purples and different things will be right down the end. Your lighter blues, your whites will be at the top. But there will be a little bit of white. So this is pretty random. There's no rhyme or reason of why we do it this way. It's just really a matter of getting the colour down. You can do a hundred of these and no two will be alike. They'll be completely different, every single one of them. And that's why I like doing squeegee designs you don't really know what you're going to get until you start pulling that squeegee so uh, let's set it up and get into it so what we're going to do on this one, we're going to do a squeegee design so we're going to put 
Just some different coloured blues on this one. That's beautiful. Throw in a bit of teal green yet, just to make it a bit different. Uh, just put it wherever you can get paint. So these paints are just from the $2 shop. It's always good to add some white in there just to break it up. And then we do just a drop. And this is like a teal. And we'll grab a squeegee and have a go. And here we go. Yeah, it's looking good. Pretty happy with that. And there we go. So we finished doing the squeegee on this board. Uh, Look, fairly pretty happy with it. Uh, boards for me, so 
you know, it's not for a, a customer. So I'm, I'm happy with how it's turned out. The colour's pretty even. Uh, it's got good full coverage. Uh, what we'll do now, we'll just let that go, let that dry for 24 hours. Uh, we should be good to go in and start marking the fin placements tomorrow. Uh, hey guys, there's this whole YouTube thing about liking, subscribing, uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, all sorts of things. Uh, look, I'm not a professional video maker, as you can see. Uh, I'm not a professional board maker, as you can see. I'm a, I'm a backyarder, I uh, work in my shed. Uh, making these videos just uh, in case they help someone who's doing their first board and wondering how to do it. Uh, looking for tips and techniques. Uh, I was taught by a, a master craftsman and um, he taught me a lot of the stuff that he does. He hand shapes. Uh, same as me, I hand shape as well. So uh, I said I, I bet I rarely use a computer cut. Um, I prefer shaping a board by hand, uh, going out surfing a board that I've shaped, uh, which is fantastic. So thanks for watching.